Hello and welcome to my spicy virtual studio. Let me give you a quick tour of the place and then afterwards, I'll show you how you can make one of these experiences yourself for free. So come along, I really wanna show you this. So here we are, it's a pretty modern style. There's a nice little social area over there which we'll visit in just a bit. And some interesting art and furniture here that came with the place as well. For now, let's hop over to the lounge and sit on the couches there. We have a nice big screen here with some videos. Let me show you the first one here as it explains what tool I've used to create this virtual studio experience. This is something called Beyond and it's super cool because it lets you make your own customized virtual reality experiences, at least on the web, for a free trial. And there's no coding or other experience needed, which is why I was able to make this pretty easily myself in their online editor, which lets you add your own pictures, videos, 3D objects, and even 360 photos photos to a variety of pre-built 3D scenes like this one. Well, now that we've had a nice rest on the couches here, let's stretch our legs a little bit and walk through the social nook over here to another presentation that I want to show you. But before I do that, let's take a look to the right here at some art that I put up. This is what I call the color pop effect since one of the colors actually pops out from black and white. It's usually done in Photoshop, but I have a tutorial for how to do it pretty easily in PowerPoint as well, which I've put in the description of this video. So let's turn around so I can show you how you can start using this app today for your presentations. Let's say you wanna do a presentation on cooking or spicy cooking in my case. And let's say we're in a pretty high scale apartment here. Let's go to the kitchen to check out some of my recipes. And let's say I wanna show you how to make an omelet. Of course, I could show you a slide presentation on it, but let's do it this way. Let me click here to get started with some spicy cooking. And for an omelet, let's look at some breakfast recipes that can pop up here. This looks like a lovely omelet with egg and tomato. And let's start making our egg first. And then let's chop up some of our tomato. Lovely. And I can make this as elaborate as I want, but what's nice is that this is much more immersive and engaging than just a slide presentation, for example. And let's say I wanna promote my spicy recipe book and a cooking show. So let's head over to the living room and let me show you this book on spicy recipes. We don't have time to read it right now, but it's still kind of cool that it's made it to, to publishing. And of course, here's my cooking show as well, which we can check out later. For now, let's go outside here. Let me show you some of my fruit-based recipes for a nice summer day. So for example, you can get really creative with this nice watermelon and blueberry piece here. Or if you wanna go fancy, you can make this nice strawberry cake. And as a drink, you can make some nice fruity glasses as well. That's just a sampling of some of the recipes that I have in store. Obviously a very simple presentation on cooking, but walking through an apartment as part of the navigation process makes it a lot more engaging. And of course, if your presentation is on real estate or something that actually requires walking through something or something like shoes or retail, you can fit your theme a lot more. So this gives you a quick sampling of the tremendous possibilities of VR presentations. Even more basic web-based ones can be kind of cool. Great, so let's step on over to my study room over here and you can see more pictures here that's art for my social media channels. And here's a nice little picture with my friends Taylor and Camille, whom we call the PowerPoint Speed Demons because they've figured out all of these hacks and tricks for making PowerPoint way faster. And over here we have some 360 degree photos that look like little orbs floating in the air which is kind of cool. Let's jump into one right now, actually. So I'm gonna click right here. This is one from when I visited Times Square in New York, and I can kind of turn around here and look at all the people here. 
And to take a picture like this, you'll need one of the 360 degree cameras available right now, which are getting more popular and less expensive, which is nice. And hopefully they'll be available on our phones soon as well. So when I want to step out of the picture, I just have to find the X here and then click on that and we're out. And that is basically it for the tour. Hope you enjoyed and let me show you how to make this yourself now. So here we are on the Beyond website. Here's the URL and you can start a free trial here. So you sign up here and then once you're in, and you'll go to a screen like this that has all of the experiences that, that you're working with. So what I love about this is the templates. So you go up here and they have a lot of pre-made experiences for you to choose from. So we have the sample store where the shoes actually rotate on their platforms. And there's an entertainment room. Here's the real estate tour that I was using as an example. And actually let's take a look at how to use that. So we go to import here and then choose new, and then let's say YouTube test. Go to import. And this is where you land. So here is kind of a, a 360 photo of this entrance area here, and they've overlaid these custom navigation buttons here. And you can actually move these around or you can take them out entirely as you like, and they all lead to other rooms around the house. So as an example, let's actually go to the living room, which is here. I'm gonna click on that on our menu here because there's not currently a navigation to get there right now. So here's what the template looks like. We have some of these books here on the table, which if you remember, I made into my spicy recipes book. And then we have this, this video here. And what's, what's great is that any time that you see a screen or you see any sorts of images within the experience, you can customize them to be your own. Let me show you how I customized this screen and then I'll show you a couple of other examples of, of how you can add different elements in here. And Beyond actually has a really nice set of tutorials for how to do this. I'm not going to recreate the wheel, but I will show you a few tricks I learned through a lot of trial and error. Let's say you have this this piece of media here. And what's nice is that it's already lined up to this monitor here. And the monitor originally looked like this, so they added this on top of it. We have it as a video. This is the actual media file, and the preview me media is kind of the screenshot or the frame that is shown right before you click on it or before it starts playing. So if we wanna change that up, we just go to uh, this button here, and then you can see all of the media that you've added to your own library, as well as all the media that they have in their public library as well. So we go to my library and let's say I wanna add that, that intro video that I had at the very beginning. So we click on that, you can kind of double click and then say yes, override the preview media, it shows up here. Obviously very unflattering screenshot there. So let's change the preview media to a better one, which is the very first frame of the video. And we go to here, which is our VR frame. Double click that. And then now it's showing up. So whenever you see some sort of media overlays on top of the templates here, you can swap them out very easily for your own, just like I did here. And just as one last point, on the appearance and interaction tabs over here, there are some additional options that you can play with. I personally use the autoplay and the loop media most often, but you can play around with the other ones as well. So I'll leave this one as it is and let's keep going. And let me just show you some of the other navigation elements. So you can add arrows or any other navigation elements here, they're in that public media folder that I showed you earlier. And the way this works is that you have your, your media file, which is that arrow, and then it links to the current experience, which is this uh, YouTube test experience. And then it also shows you what zone you're going to. So 
this is the porch zone that it leads to and let us actually go there right now and if we click on this here we know that it will take us to the porch view let's actually preview this in our browser so that we can we can see the navigation in action so go to preview And now we can actually click on this arrow to take us to this. And if you remember, I had some hot spots here where I kind of clicked and there was some stuff, some of the recipes that were appearing here. So I can show you quickly how, how I did that. Let's go back into our editor here. And then for, a, for something that's invisible, that becomes visible, we would use a hot spot and then that kind of adds a little thing here and then we just position it we drag it as we as we want add it there and then we can use this here to make it bigger or smaller i'm just going to use this piece in the middle to kind of make it bigger like that and then when you go to type we want let's say an image for some reason it changes the, the angle when you do that. So all you do is hop in here and I'll show you how to rotate it. You click on each one of these handles here. Okay, so that's, that's good enough for this tutorial. Now we have the image here. Now for the media, we just click here and then we choose one of our pictures. So let's choose this watermelon recipe, for example. And then that's gonna appear when we click in this area. And then as a final step, let's go to appearance and make sure there's nothing here that we don't want. And then for interaction, we have this come to me effect, which we wanna remove because we don't want it to kind of get bigger as we click on it. So once we do that, we hit preview and then click here. It's a little bit tilted, but if I had more time, I would have evened it out a little bit better. And if you click out of it, it disappears. And actually in a little bit, I'll show you a trick to making it stay on the screen, even if you click out. And by the way, if you wanna make this visible to others, you just go to publish, and then you can just hit publish, and then this link will be visible to anybody that you send it to. It works in a browser on your computer and on your phone too, and it looks actually pretty so cool on your phone because you can use both your your finger to, to navigate as well as actually turning the phone around to see the room in 360. And of course, if you want an app version of this, you can contact them for, for customized pricing. So I'll hit cancel here since I'm not actually gonna be publishing this. And now, as promised, let me show you a quick trick to making objects stay even after you click out of them. This kitchen, as you may remember, had the eggs and tomatoes over here, which were actually pre-built into the template by Beyond. And there was also the image of the breakfast recipes over here, which I added myself using the method I'm about to show you. The way that I created this omelet picture is actually I went to insert media, and then I resized and positioned this media placeholder where I wanted it, right over here. And now here is the trick to making it stay even if you click out of it. This is actually a video with an invisible picture as the preview image, which is why you can't see it originally. I made the video by just using a static picture in PowerPoint that was then exported to video. And the invisible preview image was originally a shape in PowerPoint with no fill and no outline that I then saved as a picture to put in here. So that's why it's invisible and that's how I made that nothing special about appearance and then for interaction I put no motion and there's nothing here that is playing the eggs and tomatoes that were in here were also done in the same way except the video is a green screen video also they had the little bullseyes in here as preview media so that you know to click on them and as you can see lots and lots of customization options that that you can work through here 
And of course, if you have your own 360 images and you can create your own zones and have a lot more flexibility here. And if you're making any sort of presentation in a physical location, nothing beats being able to actually walk through rooms and this versus just static images. Well, hopefully this was a useful tutorial and a nice sampling of the platform, as well as a glimpse into what presentations could look like in the future. Check out Beyond whenever you get a chance, and I'm sure they've paved the way for, for many other platforms to enter this space soon as well. And for more emerging technologies and PowerPoint fun, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for future videos.